I absolutely adore Jong Doo Hong. He's always been underrated and his work for the Korean film industry as an action coordinator is amazing. City of Violence and Fighter in the Wind showed his impressive skills both in front and behind the camera. Here in Fist and Furious, I was eagerly anticipating its release. Man, was I disappointed. First and foremost, the film is about the drama and not so much the action. It would have been more well and good if the drama and story were actually good. Sadly, that's not the case. Its lazy opening montage with a voiceover that describes what has happened to our protagonist is so boring and feels like a tool to tell the audience rather than the actual part of the storytelling. For the setup, we are introduced to a rocky cart partnering with Jung, who has little character and immediately we are thrust with him being a father and loving husband. Surprise, surprise, he is killed off pretty much within 15 minutes and there is no emotional attachment to his death, despite the filmmaker's best attempt. Instead of focusing on Jung Doo Hong's character, he is saddled with an annoying tag-along journalist who has such a predictable path. Further along, the pair are soon joined by a karaoke singer who is looking for a sister and she suspects that local gangsters have taken her for drug tests. Together, they have to uncover the conspiracy and bring down the evil mob. The film has some very stupid moments laced throughout. Take on how many occasions the protagonist can answer the phone, but when someone needs to warn him, he cannot hear his phone. Then there's the moment where a henchman's phone vibrates and he hears that just fine. Then there's the overly predictable traitor's cop. The filmmakers might as well have a tag saying, I'm a traitor. Add into the mix the main villain of the film who is just bland and boring. Camera movement is very jittery and stiff at times. Cinematography is weak with a host of overexposure and questionable filtering at certain moments. A crane shot wobbles as it descends down. Uh, awkward freeze frames and dissolves occur and the lack of wide shots at certain situations make it feel so weird as the characters just enter a tight shot. Everything just feels so amateurish. Jong Doo Hong finally getting another shot as the star of the film and it should have been this amazing display of fighting set pieces. Shame then that the fights feature so sparingly and over pretty much as soon as the thing starts going. The biggest problem many were having have is the insane amount of edits featured during the fights. There's like a cut in between every two moves with matters made worse with how tightly framed everything is. Kicks are frequently on the edge of the screen and you won't see the full extension of the kick. At times moves are blocked by the many stuntmen running around the screen and other times the more violent aspects are hidden behind somebody. If you try hard enough you can decipher the fights and what you get is some very hard hitting fight scenes similar to those found in City of Violence but we shouldn't have to work to see the fights. Jong Doo Hong and his team are impressive and there's a sense of power to the fights. It's really saddening for me. I really wanted to support Jong Doo Hong and I hope he gets more leading roles in the future but I cannot recommend this to anyone. It's just so boring and about two hours long there's just nothing to engage.